So in order to save our OW space object, we first need to add a define to our OW outer space table view controller. So again, we can have some consistency as we use the same key over and over. So we're actually going to do this after the at implementation OW space uh, outer space table view controller. And we're doing this in the .m file as opposed to last time when we did this in the .h file because again, we're not going to have to use this define outside of this view controller so we can make this private API. So we'll type hashtag define and we'll make our macro. So we'll say added space objects key and we'll do at quote, we'll say added space objects array. Great, so now that we have a define, we can go and update our method now. Specifically, we're gonna update the add space object method. And right below our comment, we can start typing and we're gonna simply write add this mutable array and we're gonna write space objects as property lists. And we're actually gonna use three uh, brackets here because this is gonna be a triple embedded uh, method call here. So we're gonna call a method and then we're gonna call another method on that object, and then we're gonna call another method on that object. So don't worry, we're gonna walk through this code together. Uh, let's first type NS user defaults, and we're gonna type standard user defaults. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna return an NS user defaults object for us. A standard user defaults is a class method, and it returns this user defaults object, and on that, we can say array for key, and we're gonna use our macro that we just set up. We're gonna say added space objects key. So what we're saying is, give us the array back for this key added space objects key, right, from our user defaults. So we're gonna get an array back from this, an NS array, but we wanna make it mutable so that we can add our space object to our array. So we're gonna simply call the method mutable copy on this in order to transform it from an NS array to an NS mutable array. So great, now we have an NS mutable array that's equal to the information we've stored for the key added space objects key. Next we wanna say if not, or we're gonna use our bang, space objects as property lists, we're gonna go ahead and say space objects property list is equal to NS mutable array alloc in it. So what are we doing here? Well, this looks like completely new code as well, but it's not if we take a second we read what we're, we're writing here. So if my NS user defaults does not have an array stored for the key add, added space objects key, that means we're not gonna have a mutable array or this variable is not gonna have a value. So we say, if this variable does not have a value, let's assign a value to it. So we'll say NS mutable array alloc in it. The other thing we're, that's going on here is we're not adding curly braces after our if statement, right? So normally we would have written something like this, right? And probably dropped this line of code here. Well, if there's only a single line of code and if we're only using this if statement, we can simply add our code after and it will evaluate. However, if I tried to add an additional line of code, it would not go inside of the if statement, it would always evaluate. So it's important to remember that, for example, this line of code and this line of code will always evaluate when the method add space object is called. However, this line of code, this space objects as property lists is equal to NS mutable array alloc in it will only execute if my space objects as property lists variable does not have a value. All right, so it's perfectly fine to put the curly braces in, and if you're still getting used to them, feel free to put them in, but it's useful to get used to additional syntax. And the reason we have this is developers are, by and large, actually a pretty lazy bunch when it comes to typing in code. We like our code to be as clean as possible. So not having to add those curly braces actually makes this code a little more succinct, which makes it a little bit easier to read once you get used to it. So, the final, well, we have to actually have to do two more steps here. So what the next step we wanna do is, now that we have this mutable array, either we're gonna create it from our user defaults, or we're gonna just allocate and initialize a new array, let's add our space object to that array. 
So we're going to type space objects as property list, add object, and we're going to say self space object as property list because we need to use our helper method here to convert our space object into an NS dictionary. And we know that this is going to return an NS dictionary, which we're going to store or we're going to add to our array. So let's replace our space object here with the space object. So we can simply type space object. And we'll add our two brackets here to close out our method. So now that we've created this NS mutable array and added our space object, specifically created an NS dictionary and added that dictionary to our array, let's save our array to NS user defaults. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add two left brackets and we're going to say NS user defaults, standard user defaults to create an NS user defaults object. And we're going to use the method set object, and we're going to set our object as our uh, as our array. So we're going to say space objects as property lists, and for a key, we're going to use that define. So this is why our define is coming in really handy here. We know that our keys are going to be the same. There's no chance for us to make a mistake here. So we're going to say added space objects key, and the final thing we need to do is yes, we've set this object for our standard user defaults. Well, we haven't actually saved it or synch synchronized it uh, to uh, our uh, saved it to our application yet. So let's go ahead and we can type NS user defaults, standard user defaults to get an NS user defaults object, and we can say synchronize. And this will save our NS user defaults with this mutable array that we've just added to it.